In this video, I will be sharing my mother's authentic Mexican pozole, estilo Michoacán, using no cans and no measurements. She makes this for us every holiday. Here is one of my favorite dishes. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to be translating everything my mom says as she goes. To begin this delicious recipe, you're going to need a huge pot. I mean big, because it's that good. The quantity obviously depends on how many people you're feeding, but in this case, we're having a party. My mom brought 10 pounds of raw purple maize from Mexico to make this soup. After placing the maize in a large pot, we're going to add double the water. Because this recipe is made from scratch, the maize needs to be prepared. So my mom will be adding half a ladle of cal to cook the maize. My mom likes to get this process out of the way the night before in order to advance. After adding the maize, water, and cal, the pot will go over medium heat for one hour. In order to avoid lifting a heavy pot, you can add the remaining water while the pot is already on the stove. This is how raw maize looks. We're going to place the lid on the pot and cook for one whole hour. After half an hour, go ahead and give it a stir. After one hour of cooking, go ahead and turn off the flame and allow the kernels to cool. Once it has cooled down, you're going to want to scrub the kernels by rubbing them together. Go ahead and rub a dub dub and scrub a dub dub. Once the maize is scrubbed, it's transferred to a clean pot. Next, the maize is rinsed with running water. Once the hominy is cleaned and prepared, it will be placed in a pot in which the pozole will be made. The hominy is officially ready, however, it will remain in this pot until tomorrow when the pozole will be made and eaten. Now we're ready to make the pozole. To begin the pozole, we're going to be placing the pot over medium heat with the maize, hominy, and three times the water. The kernels will cook for a total of five whole hours. And in this process, we will be adding the meat and the chile. Next, we will be preparing the chile to spice up the pozole. For this recipe, we will use half a pound of California chile and two heads of garlic. 
The California chile will soak in water for one hour. To create a spicier broth, we're going to add um, chiles de arbol or Japanese chilies. After three hours of cooking, we're ready to add the pork and the chile. You will be noticing that the hominy becomes spongier. I believe my mom used bone in pork. After adding the meat in the pot, we will also add a ladle of salt. The chili will be blended in two parts and added to the pot. In order to avoid grainy chile, you want to blend it in parts and blend it well. The two heads of garlic are blended in the chile. You can see here how fine it's blended. Once the pozole is done, you will notice that the hominy has expanded like a sponge about five hours later. The traditional garnish for a bowl of pozole is chopped onion, chopped cabbage, um, lime, radishes, 
And I personally love eating pozole with crunchy tortilla chips on the side. My mom's pozole made from scratch is by far my favorite dish on the planet Earth. I love pozole and my mom's is so tasty. I hope this video gives you a good idea of how traditional Mexican pozole is made. I hope you enjoyed watching my mother make it. I tried my best to translate and I'm very sorry that I could not get you exact measurements. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.